All right, hello everybody, Skyrain here, back again with another Diablo Immortal video. All right, with the anniversary update that will be uh, soon approaching, there was a nice little surprise listed in the Chinese patch notes. A little bit of a surprise, and I'm still holding my breath. Well, actually, I'm not holding my breath too, but I'm trying to stay as optimistic and as hopeful as possible in that it doesn't get lost in translation and hopefully this does come to light this right here anniversary surprise this is the chinese patch notes mind you so obviously the translation always gets lost or little things slip through the cracks as far as once it makes it over to the global patch notes i'm hoping this one makes it all the way through keep that in mind it's i i it's not official until we see it in the global patch notes but let's just follow through with this as if it would be. So I'm trying to be as optimistic on this one as possible. And they definitely owe us something at this point, to say the least. Okay. Um, dawning Echo for free. I underlined the key points here, the most important ones of them all. Um, this one, the second part here where it says you can also receive a Dawning Echo um, during this time frame of the 13th to the 20th so there might be an event that we have to do certain things we have to complete etc etc in order to finish this basically they want you to show log in and actually do the, do something so which is fine and then most of these events are pretty simple straightforward and easy and uh, we knock them out pretty pretty fast but I mean this is one you pretty much probably have to log in for it at the very least but it's definitely worth it for a free dawning echo before the only way and to well currently still the only way to acquire these is with actual money so that's why i never did an awakening never had one never will unless of course they're gonna give us this free one okay so let's go through the whole process though so where would we normally get them from well we can normally get them from in game from this guy next to charcy here in west march this is also going to be like a beginner friendly kind of um, video since there are a lot of new players that have come back to uh, or have joined the game after this most recent character, you know, new class introduction and such. And for returning players and for those of us who are completely free to play, let's be interested in the process if this is going to be, if we're able to get at least one. Let's follow through with it, huh? So. Reforged stones under this guy here. You scroll all the way to the bottom. This is where it is for a thousand orbs. Obviously, I don't have any. Never will. So, it's a free to play. This one here, this is what it does. It awakens a legendary essence. Okay, makes it stronger, gives it extra attribute. We'll go over now. Say you acquire one, or we get the one given to us by free. At uh, the anniversary update. Fingers crossed. Um, so now we come here to the jeweler. Master Jeweler Vic. I only work with the finest of Talk to him, go to Gem Resonance. Alright, so first you need the key point of all of this, first and foremost, is you need a rank 10 gem. It could be any star quality. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and show my rank 10 Berserker's Eye. As far as PvE content goes, this is probably the easiest one to level up and to use um, for this process. So there you go. Zerka's Eye, rank 10, okay? It doesn't have to be a 2-star, it doesn't have to be a 5-star. It could be the rank 1, or a 1-star, which is the easiest Hello. to rank up. How can I help you? Not oh, you. I only... Go back to him. Here's the piece. Okay, and then it would tell you, if you try to say this one here, Requires a socketed rank 10 legendary gem. Okay, so it's gonna get, let you know down here So this one I don't get that message because it's a rank 10. I don't have the dawning echo obviously so but let's just say for Argument's sake that I do Put that in click awaken boom you're done This piece this chess piece now will be awakened and it will have the green text here active it is a damage increase lightning nova damage increased by 10 percent so you'll get the green text active here bottom all right so now 
say you're like, oh man, I messed up. I I like that one, but I have another essence or another slot that I want to awaken that's better, and I use it more frequently. Say when you go and change through your armory and be like, oh man, no, this one doesn't work as well on this on this uh, this is the one I want it to be in the most. I screwed up. Well, there's a way around that. First, you take the gem out of play it safe because there's been talk there's been you know unfortunate stories of people losing the gems in the process of this so to play it safe you first take this say this is the awakened piece now the chest piece right this is the one we we quote awakened all right you remove the gem out of it so that way it's not even in the equation it's not even factored in because what you want to do you want to say you want to get that in order to get that dawning echo back out <laughs> you have to salvage your legendary piece of gear which sucks but you'll get all the materials back when in the process of doing so but first stay with me now don't get ahead of me uh, take the gem out play it safe that way first then you go and find another legendary piece of gear like this one here that's got less stats on it and you're you're perfectly fine with losing okay you equip this one instead you transfer your gear ranks to it though so you do the transfer of your gear ranks to it now I got this piece of gear that I don't really like anyway with the the uh, upgrade ranks to it then what you do is you remove this piece and put it in your bag then after that I'm not gonna do it because I'll tell you why I'm not gonna do it right now um, that right here when you go to Let us forge salvage a new legend. here, well, not multi, um, not multi extract, but salvage it. Uh, when you go to do that from here, where is it at? Oh, this one right here. The item has been upgraded and socketed with a gem. All materials or gems will be returned. Okay, you get all your upgrades. And all the materials it took, like this is a level 30 piece. You'll get all that back. You'll get all that back. But you have to go back to Charcy and, you know, put on your old piece, that, or the piece that you wanted to keep, right? Um, in order to get it back up to rank 30 again, you got to go to Charcy or Here. any, Good you know, you. blacksmith and do your upgrades, you know, all the way back up. Now, here's the bad part about right? that is. Your family bonuses, your family bonuses that you had will be gone and you'll have to rank it all the way back up again, unlock all of these. They won't be the same. So you have to have a bunch of reforged stones on hand, um, family reforged stones to put on the ones, put back on the ones you preferred. Or if you didn't like them anyway, then, you know, no harm, no foul. Just roll with it and see what you get as you're ranking it back up all over again. But yeah, you get all, you'll have all the materials to do so, but you'll have to make sure you have enough reforged stones to, which in my case I do, because I barely ever use them. I'm happy with the ones I've had for a very long time now, but you have to use your reforged stones to redo the family bonuses again. That's the biggest drawback out of all of it. So then that's it. That's how you would go from Say, oh, I don't want this piece awakened. I meant to do this one instead. Or, you know, if in case we actually do get the one free one, we'll be able, that's the one way to move it around to a different slot. You you can't, you know, do that and say, oh, I have this one awakened. It'll stay that way. No, it obviously removes it entirely to put it somewhere else. That's what this whole process of me showing that is about. Hopefully that makes it clear enough. I don't know. If you have any questions, obviously, let me know in the comments down below. I tried to be as clear as I could be with that and as beginner friendly. And even for some of us, this one took me a little bit of uh, a couple of times to go around in my head and talking out to figure it out myself as well. Because this is something that I never would have thought of before. And I never thought it possible or even feasible. But if indeed they do follow through and make good on their promise here with this... In global launch anyway or the global patch for everybody we all deserve at this point I believe at least one of these for free um, and also put them in the game and uh, so we can get them by platinum put them in the game so we can get them by platinum 
but whatever you know the equivalent is you know money wise in the platinum you know the currency exchange whatever it is that's fine just put it in the damn game <laughs> but we want it we want more of them obviously you've been kind of you know it's a dangling of the carrot kind of deal here with this um it's your first taste is for free if you want more you know you gotta you get no don't do it don't fall into that trap don't get caught up in that nonsense um i'm warning you right now don't fall for it it's definitely a trap of some kind it's fine it, it, well, it's not fine but it's it's their business practices it's whatever it's mobile gaming to a t it's just unfortunately how we've come to uh let things get out of hand but it is what it is but yeah stay away stay be smart play safe and all that um and be aware of these kind of things when they happen but that's kind of probably the idea behind this i'm fine with us just them kicking us a free one that's fine it's long overdue it's long overdue but anyway hopefully that helps you out if you have any questions again put it in the comments down below let me know what you think until next time stay safe out in the real world and fire take care of yourselves as always Take things one day at a time. It's the best we can do. Until next time, see ya.